the time has come to officially sell the E39 M5. So getting straight to the point and straight to the facts, this is a 2000 model year. The car is finished in jet black. It was originally all leather heritage interior, but was later swapped by me. And this car has 215,000 miles, clean title, and I'm asking 14,000 firm. No trades, not interested in any lower offers. I believe this car is an absolute great deal and is a great price. It needs some love and a few things and this car will be in tip top shape. So for the people of YouTube, I am so sorry that this moment has come, but once again, more life changes and some things gotta happen. So there's a few things like this bumper right here. I already have one ready to go. Uh, paint isn't great on the new bumper. It is a rattle can job to match the front. And speaking of that, this whole car will most likely either need paint or a very professional paint correction. And I still think that certain areas would need touch up. Here is the front bumper that I try to make match as good as I can, which is actually the same paint code, but I tried not to do a very good job on purpose. So that way the bumper isn't shiny and the rest of the car <laughs> looks pretty dull. So it is what it is. It matches, comes up in the light great, looks great in photos, looks fine in person. Same thing with the headlights. Headlights are brand new. We have new TYC lens. I imported them from Germany. They have new uh, headlight adjusters, so there's no wobbling, there's no thing. Um, the only thing I would say is a headlight level sensor, but they're like 30 bucks. You just have to do that. So other than that for the body, there's a few marks and few dings on the driver door. So there's one right here, which actually scratched the paint. I didn't do that. There's another one right here. So it looked like the car got dinged in a parking lot. And I think there's a few down here i believe and for the rest of the body i believe the driver's door is the worst i don't remember or recall i don't believe there's anything else same thing with the rocker panel very typical on these cars from either bottoming out or people jacking them up in the wrong spot same thing right here you can see where it's a little dented in and that's about it for this side but of course the passenger follows and it is a little indented right there as well so other than that, you can see the passenger side, body looks good. I believe there's one tiny ding right here. And the rest of the car is good. Same thing with the cap. There's no rust in there. It's pretty dusty, but there's no rust. There's no markings, there's no nothing. This car was previously in California before I got it. And now it resides in Vegas. So there's really no issues with rust. Other than that, obviously a good paint job. The wheels are in black, so if you want shadow chrome, that's something you can take up. But the wheels, they do have their fair amount of curbing, but none of them are dented, none of them are bent. All of them are straight, they roll fine. For the front, we're on StopTech rotors and Brembo pads. All new suspension arms in the front. All the bushings are good. Front end looks great on these cars. Same thing over here. Some curbing on the wheel, stop tech rotors, tires, not great. The rest of the wheels, there's a full set. For exhaust wise, this car is on some random mufflers with some hideous tips, but the actual muffler themselves and the arms look great. So you can easily chop off the tip, put a good one. Has stock resonator and it does have a cat delete, but I have the stock cats in the garage ready to be welded back in. Or if you're in a state that doesn't require it, you can go ahead and keep the car as is and just get it tuned. And now for the glory of this car, the interior. So this car was heritage originally, and it was full leather, and we did a little bit modification. So it has full leather upper dash, which looks amazing. It is in almost near perfect condition, but it does have black vinyl lower, and I did do that. So unfortunately, the lower dash was completely shredded, Stitching was coming out, it was marked, it was torn, it just didn't look great at all. Same thing with the center console right here, which is very common. Fully separated and was all the way off. The actual leather was off the actual console. Looked terrible, so unfortunately these are black vinyl Avro 540, but there's no problems with them. It looks fine, probably just needs a good cleaning. Same thing, all the pedals are good, dead pedals good. Has brand new floor mats, and of course, Extremely low mileage Silverstone interior that looks absolutely fantastic. I think this is the only flaw. Maybe there's a scratch on the back seat, but that's it. Looks like there was a burn or something in the seat and they try to patch it. But other than that, the seats are in absolutely amazing condition. 
door panels probably use some good cleaning but they're here uh this carbon fiber trim was also in the parts car that i took off and since it is carbon fiber it is a little wavy i would say not as in the actual finish but probably the mold they used was a little firm and it does like to pop out but it pops right back in and it holds but if you do purchase this car you might hop in and realize that you might need to push the trim back in but if it is a problem for you i do have um oem silver trim that can be thrown in as well so same thing right here just pops out it's a little firm but i like the look of this a lot better it fits good and all every other place it just pops out same thing we're on a e60 short shifter with brand new zhp knob new shift boot dynavin head unit um kobe alcantara steering wheel i did basically start the process of automatic headlight retrofit so it does have the bezel and it does have the actual switch that works it's not actually automatic but if you flip it it turns on the headlights and they stay on even when the car is off so if you turn it on right now headlights are on and you know that that doesn't work in the other ways so dynavin head unit with the full harness ran it's all around bath sound speakers and it sounds pretty decent but i would definitely recommend getting a head unit or not a head unit i'm sorry i would get a new aftermarket amplifier or find another company that makes them just so you can fine tune everything but same thing with the rear door panels are perfect trim is a lot better back here rear seats i think this is the only other mark on the rear which i don't know what that is or if that'll come out but the seats look fantastic everything fits everything is working same thing with the headliner headliner is absolutely perfect there's no rips none of this is sagging this is a little tiny bit saggy but you don't notice it uh, you could easily pull that out get the glue i think the only negative would be the rear view mirror has a little bit leaking but i hate that style anyways i was just waiting for a good deal to pop up on an oval one and i believe the last flaw which is not really a flaw is this pillar right here is a little snapped out because the light i had the actual bezel broke and it wouldn't clip in so all you need is a junkyard light that's black slap it in right here and that holds everything up so interior wise this car is pretty much mint i don't think you'd need to change a single thing unless you just wanted to refresh a couple other components all this stuff works right here brand new coin tray right here euro console brand new don't even have anything in there ac heat works heated seats sports all these work the most important information is 215,000 miles but it is clean title and i have a stack full of receipts maintenance records from this car in the past six years it runs phenomenal starts every single time i've never had an issue as you can see vanos units are pretty shiny compared to most cars water pump pretty shiny everything in here alternator serpentine bell pulleys everything is pretty much tip top shape i have to go through exactly what the records say but it does have both vanos units completely rebuilt which were like six thousand dollars from whatever shop he got ripped off but it's there it's here they work everything functioned this car does not leak a single drop of oil not a single drop of coolant i believe the full cooling system was replaced this thing had the motor taken apart for carbon cleaning a bunch of other stuff all accessories vanos tons of stuff you name it i will go through in later and i will go through all that and show you the highlights and all that will be of course included and if you need it we can go through it with that being said of how phenomenal this engine is well, the check engine light is on. So it runs and drives amazing, but check engine light is illuminated. So it is catless and it does have a tiny issue where the vacuum line, you'd have to pull this boot off, but the vacuum line is has a tight slit in it for the secondary air pump. And I've never changed that because it's catless and everyone deletes secondary air pump anyways so i was gonna go ahead and get it tuned out delete it and then check engine light goes away car has no problem so this thing runs and drives amazing though
The car is fully up to temp. It's 90 something degrees outside. Put it in sport mode for a little bit extra. Everything works. AC's on full blast, feels nice and cool. Could use a refresh still and it still feels great. And the only thing I think I forgot to mention is, unfortunately, the side mirrors, I don't know if these are replica or actually OEM, but they are definitely a casualty to this car. So previous owner must have hit something and he tried screwing these in and this mirror is absolutely destroyed. But good replicas are made or if you wanna source OEM ones used, you can be my guest to anything that fits your budget. Clutch feels amazing, there's no problems, it does not slip. Transmission uh, goes in every gear. There's no problems. I would only say the transmission, I replaced it with, um, I believe Royal Purple Synchro Max. I think that's what it's called. And I am not a fan. And it does not really like colder weather or very high RPM. Uh, definitely, I would recommend switching that to Redline Fluid. I had the same problem in one of my other M5s and switching to Redline Fluid is a way better thing for the car the transmission loves it a lot more and there was no grinding and higher rpm there was nothing wrong with it so definitely i would recommend switching that i wanted to try something new see if there's anything that felt better but obviously not so red line fluid is definitely needed this car is on fresh oil change liquid molly of course running 10w60 we're sitting here in traffic it says it's 100 degrees outside idling here smooth no fumbling ac is on car does not overheat there's no issues no cooling issues as you can see it actually gets up to temp when it's warm out so no there is no thermostat issues which everyone assumes the car has full power feels great it is a little heat soaked feels great it sounds great the only thing I, other, I forgot to mention is that from doing the uh, suspension install, I did not get it aligned yet. I was waiting to do the rears and get some new tires on this thing, but I didn't get around to it. So it would need an alignment. The steering wheel is straight. It doesn't really pull. Um, it just doesn't really self-correct when you steer. So it's a little weird steering, obviously, but with a quick alignment, this thing would be in tip top shape once again with all new suspension arms. It's on brand new BC coils, but I'm gonna take this thing home and we'll go through all the paperwork and exactly what's all done to this car. Now for all the paperwork on the E39 M5, getting straight to it, you can already see they did vanyl solenoid and it cost him $3,000. And then once again, they did vanyl solenoid for the other side, it cost him another $1,800. And I believe they fixed it because over here they have an original thing where they did $2,900 repair and they did they did vanos they did rotors sensors valve cover oil filter power steering the wipers oil pan gasket window regulator they did a whole bunch of stuff and then again somewhere over here right here they did vanos again for another $1,500 so I don't know what happened I believe these people probably messed it up because it just says it's a car clinic and they did it on this paper. So I'm assuming they messed it up and they took it here and they finally fixed it. But this car had vandals done twice now and they used to keep track of all this going through all the mileage and all the date and they stopped at 167 and that was in 2013. So that's a little outdated, but I do have it. So here's two bills of vandals and then going through these, they're literally stacks. It's all stapled together. Right here, $580, another repair for $500. Uh, going through all of this, there's just so much different stuff. I don't wanna go through all of this. That's already another $1,000 in repairs. Oil level sensor, there was a leak. It used to leak. And then again, another Vanos repair, $1,500 for that. Ended up costing him $1,600 after everything. So again, Vanos is now done five times, but there we go with this, and this is all the things they said wrong with it, and they went through and fixed most of it. Another $1,000 repair. And this one is quite the booklet of stuff. All this was replaced, 
timing cover gasket, Vanos O-rings. They did all the valve covers, the bolts, the nuts, the seals. They did oil change, another window regulator. They used um, secondary air piping. They cleaned out carbon, cleaned the best as possible. So they went ahead and took everything out. This was another $2,600 repair. Car had carbon cleaning and went through and they resealed basically the whole top end, all valve covers, timing covers. So that is why the car does not leak a single bolt or does not leak from any bolts, any gaskets, anything, everything was replaced. So they did diff seals right here. They did the brackets, another oil change. Everything was gone through again, another thousand dollars. Another 700 gone through. I think this is the secondary um, when they did the other side of the valve cover. And power steering hoses, ATF, went through that again. And then once again, I'm gonna have to cut some of this down. <laughs> They did more covers right here, the valve cover. Two new keys, so both of them work and function. So both keys are programmed, the spare key as well. Another thousand dollars, another 500 and something due. So $1,500 repair. Went through an alternator. They did fuel system cleaner, brake lines, brake fluid, brake flush. And they did something with a mirror, but I don't know how that cost them $2,500. And that's just a single repair when you look at that. And then here we go into some more stuff. So we did water pump, the water pipe, coolant pipe, water pump pulley, um, coolant, thermostat, thermostat seals, $1,700. So this was when they went through partial of the cooling system and replaced everything. So all that stuff is good. And here we go into the last main bill, which they did the fuel filter, fuel pump, uh, fuel pump seal, another thousand dollars. Savannos, another one saying they did the control module and they reprogrammed traction control module. That was 800, so they went through the ABS and everything. And that's about it for this paperwork. Here's the replacement bumper. As you can see, it's painted in jet black, but it is not the best finish. It is tried as hard as I can to make this match the rest of the car. So it is decent enough and it's brand new and it's a replacement, so it's good to go. There are the catalytic converters for that and that can all be replaced. There's the box for the other BCs. It has the stock suspension in there. Somewhere in here I have the stock trim. But other than that, that's about it for this car. It does have two keys. It is clean title. Everything is up to date. Just needs a couple things you've seen in the video, but all this will be included with the sale. I'm asking 14,000 firm. I don't want to take any other offers. I don't want to trade. If the price is going to go any lower than it is, then I have to take stuff out of the car to resell. So 14,000 as is, unless you want to start ripping stuff out the car, I will negotiate to the slightest and that's about it. But I appreciate you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll get back to you.